there to make some ideas for people that they can make things very, very inexpensively food-wise. Today, what we're going to do is we're making noodles and cabbage. It happens to be a Hungarian dish that my wife's great-grandmother, grandmother, mother, and my wife made. And all I can tell you, it goes a long, long way. It's very, very inexpensive. The, the ingredients are four onions, such as a cabbage, a bag of noodles, and some butter. Very, very simple. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take the butter while I'm talking and preparing everything and basically put the butter in the frying pan. And we'll start to melt it in a few moments. The whole thing takes about maybe 40 minutes to make, but very, very well, well worthwhile. I'll just give you a cost, a cost factor. The onions, okay, basically at Costco, okay, are 10 pounds for $3.99. I use four onions, which is about maybe $2. Cabbage, 99 cent store, 99 cents. Noodles, 20 ounce bag, 99 cents. The whole thing, $4.50. That will feed a side dish or even a main dish. For a main dish, probably for six or seven people. A side dish for maybe 15 to 20 people. Well, I guess they hung up. Now, I make a lot of dishes, and I have a lot of company. Uh, people laugh at me sometimes because I like to eat home. They say, why don't you go out to dinner? Well, number one, the acoustics in some of the areas that we go in the restaurants is very poor. You could sit just a few feet from each other and not be able to hear them. And on top of that, the, the waiter makes his money because he turns tables. He wants you out of there as quickly as possible. Here, I can watch TV. I've got a 65-inch TV in, in the main room here in, in the kitchen. Uh, it seats 8 to 10 people comfortably. Otherwise, we go into the dining room. And in the dining room, we sit up to 14 people. I do that on a regular basis. It's a little time consuming just to get this off. It's more, more of a headache. I think onions should come already peeled. Several layers of skin, this one. And hi, my name is Rhea, and that's the show set for general. Yeah. Do you need help? No, no, we're doing well. Once we get this peeled, we'll be in good shape.
Okay, now, I'll turn on the oven. Oh my God, don't, don't put yourself. Yeah. The experience here uh, says to the general exciting exciting okay, you can be a good husband since he's not married anymore right general that's right so you can be a good cook yeah well one day maybe a good lover <laughs> that's for sure one day you know i told my mother i said listen i don't need a woman to cook for me i don't need her to clean for me i don't even need her to wash my clothes she said, you know what, son? She says, one day you're going to make a good wife. You know what I said? I hope I don't get arrested. <laughs> well, as, as you know, you are a retired uh, police officer. Yeah. yeah. A former police officer. Uh -huh. Wow, there's a lot of onions. Yeah, but onions are made out of a lot of water. And yeah. the result is, is it melts down very quickly. Are you putting meat on it or no? No, you can if you want, but this is a side dish. You know, be a side dish. I don't put anything other than the noodles and cabbage and a little bit of salt. That's and it'll it. feed how many people? Well, I'll put it as a, as a side dish. This will feed probably 15, a minimum of 15 people. Wow, that's 15 people. Oh, wow. This is your secret receipt. Secret. Is this going to be secret? What's There's that? no more secret anymore. No, no secrets. No secrets. Any of the things that I make, there's no secrets. It's just trying to pe save people money. You know, one time, you know, my son, my two sons sat down and ate the whole pot. I like cabbage. Cabbage is good for you. Well, is that healthy? Is that that, vegetables in general. Yeah, cabbage. Actually, cabbage is good for um, cancer fighting. Also, they always threw that corn. We shouldn't be cooking that corn. Uh -huh. We should be eating that because that's good for digestion. All right. Well, because you said it, we're going to eat it. Yes. I guess, because I don't know how to cook. Well, we'll have to teach you then. My dad told me before, Nene, before me, Nene, don't cook anymore, don't cook rice. So the way I cook rice is like a food for a, an attorney or a rich people. It's so, so simple, you just cut right through everything. Okay. You can also make cat pie, kalua cabbage. Do you like to eat What is kalua cabbage? It's a Hawaiian food. Kalura is a bottle of Kalura up there. That's the same thing. They, I mean, they pick the grass and they cut it up and they eat it. That's how they cook it. Well, next time your cooking show will be in her uh, office. They have a big uh, place there for cooking. Oh, no problem. No problem. So that will be sponsored by Salad Master. Okay, that's, that's going to be next. Uh, the General, Keep It Real, sponsored by Salad Master next week. He will be cooking at 2797 South Maryland Parkway. That's next to uh, Golden Lodge. There we go. This is Fitz Fifth America. Okay. Barrio in Philippines. I don't think you 
extra cabbage. Now let's get it in. Now you just have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is a comedy show also. <laughs> that's, the reason why, that's the reason why you call it the general. <laughs> do we have something to do? Or? Well, there's nothing that you have to do other than wait. Um, before, before. I'm actually, I've, I've been on the line. Well, we got time for, for that. I'll be stepping healthy. away. Oh, do you want me to make your salad already? Yeah, you can make the I salad. I can make the salad. Guys, I'm going to make a salad. You might want to make a salad. I'm going to put it here so that you don't need to do it. Don't worry, I'm good in cleaning. Okay. So am I. Well, just to let you know, there are many dishes that you can make. I make the noodles and cabbage. I make my own uh, macaroni salad. Yes, uh, that was probably good. the I best like macaroni it. salad that yes. you'll ever eat. Yes. Uh, I gave it a little bit of her. Uh, I have some here. Uh, very, very simple, macaroni, mayonnaise, onion, and egg. Very, very delicious. Probably better than anything that you've ever eaten in any supermarket. You can make it uh, enough to, to probably get four or five pounds for uh, maybe two and a half dollars. Go to the supermarket, cost you $2.99 a pound. It's not even that big. Not, yes, it's true. Now, there's another one that's called uh, potatoes, eggs, and onions. It's mashed potatoes. It's eggs and onions, so instead of uh, the pasta, you substitute your potatoes. You make the mashed potatoes, you add it in with some butter, salt, pepper, absolutely delicious. Now, last night, I made sausage and peppers. Okay, four onions, two packages of sausage that were two dollars a piece. The onions was about a buck and a half, and uh, some peppers that I got at the 99 cent store for $1.99. And we'll use six out of eight. Okay? Absolutely, absolutely delicious. That looks good. Very good. We'll load that up in a little while. So, do you want me to use all your cat on the lettuce? Mm hmm. Okay. Well, all I can tell you is that as fast as I've ever seen it before, because I make it. It takes about 20 minutes to make the salad. I can see here, it takes me just about five minutes to grind everything up. Yes. Yeah, oh, that looks good. I'm hungry already. I'm crying. Oh, I forgot our, our celery. Right in here. You know, we can use this for your plants. Compost. It's healthy for the plants. Okay. Let's use this one. General, do you want to learn about the, her salad master? Yeah, I'm just watching. 
Okay, on your next show, sponsored by Salad Master. So you will be cooking on her uh, kitchen. Okay, that's wonderful. So right now, uh, what she does is using this simple, uh, how do you call this? Is? Salad Master machine. This is our Salad Master machine that you can cut your vegetables in a few seconds. And you can... Okay, got everything in there now. Yes, I have everything right. in there. Do you anything else? Most there in your salad. Just stir everything around, get a good mixture with the cabbage, the onion, the celery. And I have an amazing assortment of dressings for everybody. Once we sit down, there are very few I don't have because I entertain on a regular basis. And uh, okay. Well, that looks delicious. Now, from the peanut gallery, okay, what kind of <laughs> salad dressings do you guys like? Give me an idea. Well, actually, since we are introducing healthy, I think the best is uh, orange. You have an orange uh, fruit? Uh, anything you or want. Lemon. Lemon. It's good. Well, I, I have everything from bottles, but I have, if you want healthy, healthy, I have wine vinegar. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good okay. one. Now, on the door, I have French, I have Italian, I have Russian, I have creamy, uh, creamy Caesars. Um, Italian. Italian. I think Italian and this one together. Okay. Now, my, 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 my which one do you like? My preference is creamy Italian, which. Then we can make creamy Italian. A little, a little bit there, but if you come into my pantry, I have several bottles. Yeah, he has a little bit of cheese back. It's all creamy. Have you mixed it with the wine vinegar or just? No, no, I, 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 I just put some salt and pepper on ah, that, okay. and I'm going to bring this over to the kitchen table. So, Miss Ria. When do you want the general to be uh, in your... Anytime, anytime. Anytime, okay. There you go, it's possible that salad needs to. I can assist the general there on the table. So keep talking, sis. Okay, so we're almost done. Oh, that's some soup that we have. Water is boiling. We can put our pasta. That we get to Miss Ria, how many uh, pieces that you have in the salad dresser? And how does it say help to the general? Because general is always showing healthy cooking and healthy eating and also saving the family money. Uh, money. Or yeah, it's better. It's actually it's it's better to eat in inside of your comfort of your home than <coughs> going up. Now with this viruses that we can get up there. I think it's better for you to stay home and eat 
politisch cook meal. Well, right? it's certainly more economical to eat at home. What I do is I look for sales at different restaurants, or actually different uh, supermarkets. And one day they had uh, chicken cutlets on sale. And what I did is I bought 30 pounds, 30 pounds of chicken cutlets. Okay, I fillet them, I put them into bags. Basically, I have from six to eight people come over. So I make sure that I have enough for 10 people. Basically, three, four pounds, four dollars. Okay, I slice it up. I take the breading, I basically use three different ingredients, uh, which you'll see on another show. Uh, I fry it, uh, I take pasta, I take salad like we made just now, uh, dessert, bread, soda. For $30, I could feed 14 people. You go out for one dinner to an Italian restaurant, normal price is about $18 for the chicken cutlet pong and pasta. Okay, on top of that, you have salad, another $7. Okay, so basically you're up to about $26, $27. You have a drink for $3, it's $30. You have tax, you have tip. Mine's of course you $35 to $40 in any restaurant. Now, here, for $30, I could feed 14 people. Yes, it's a little extra work, it's a little extra mess, but it's the comforts of your own home, and in my home, everybody is welcome. So, we're going to continue in a minute. Uh, just have to stir the onions, and uh, then we throw the cabbage in. Once we throw the cabbage in, I'll boil the noodles, and once that's done, voila, you can have a meal fit for a king. And also, General, talk about your uh, tank coming soon. Well, we just got advised, okay, uh, from uh, Animal Planet that uh, they want us back on the show. We were the only family, family show. It was my son, son-in-law, daughter, and son-in-law, and uh, we had 160 episodes. We were taken off the air for whatever reason, but the clamor was so... In such a demand that they now want us back. Uh, I can't wait because, uh, you know, maybe this time they had one in my son's house, they had a tank in my son in law's house, and maybe this time they'll put one in my house. So, wishful thinking, but maybe that'll happen. Um, everybody's excited about it. We're getting ready to move from one location to another, and as uh, soon as that happens, we'll start our tours again and everything will be back to normal. Right now, everything is chaotic because we're not in the building. We're out and we're basically transferring from one building to another. And uh, we look forward to seeing everybody on TV. And uh, that's where we're at. So in the meantime, while I'm relaxing and not taking and doing very much, I decided to come and talk about food and how to save people money and enjoy the living at home. And to add that general, either the general had the show, The Tank, to, uh, from Animal Planet, he's still gonna be continuing showing you how to save money in show more cooking show, simple and easy for the family. Uh, and of course, we're gonna be asking our uh, salad master to sponsor the general, uh, keeping it real. Absolutely, she's basically said to me, she's got some uh, different items that I could use in the cooking that'll make it more advantageous and easy for me, easy to clean, and certainly, uh, very, very well in the, in the matter of uh, looking at them and cleaning them and uh, just enjoying them. Uh, I can't wait for the next time, which will be at her facility, and I will look forward to doing that in the near future. So, Anybody else? So, Ms. Ria, what can you offer to General when he goes there and cook in your uh, office? She's, you know, I mean, of course I'll offer her that cookware. You're going to be using it. Okay, no, I have no problem. I have this cookware. I've used it successfully. But if you're going to tell me that the cookware that you have is better than this cookware and it cleans up easier because it's stainless yes. steel, yes. I have no problem using that and putting this all, what they call, in the back burner. <laughs> that sounds good. Well, let me go stir a little bit. All right. I'm getting hungry. Ooh, I've never good. seen this before. Mm, look at that onion. Onion mm -hmm. is healthy. Yeah. All of this is healthy. Yeah. I like onions. A little fattened. This is just to let you know, this is very, very fattening because of the butter, the butter and the is. cabbage. Well the cabbage is not the, the butter and the uh, and the noodles. Yeah, that that looks good. Yeah. Mm. Nice. Take a little bit. Of time. I have to have a little bit of patience. And uh, you have a nice kitchen and you have a nice uh, Yeah, everything is done professionally. You know, I moved in here three three years ago, 
And uh, everything was just this way. I had to put a thousand dollars into this house. It just came equipped with everything in a beautiful kitchen. Gave them to the inside of the There it is. Right here, Yeah, yeah we got time with the noodles because I like I like everything to be warm. So once it gets together, everything is done properly. It'll take another maybe 15 to 20 minutes, then we put the, the cabbage in, and everything is just time consuming. But the reality is, if you start an hour before, Okay, by the time your company comes, everything is ready. Then I just take steaks normally when I make this, I take steaks, I put them on the grill. Okay, season, put them on the grill. Within 20 minutes, we sit down, we first have salad, we put everything together. We have the noodles and cabbage, we have the uh, steak, uh, then we have the dessert, and everybody's happy. Did you make dessert too? No, sometimes. <laughs> So how do you eat here by yourself alone? Well, what uh, do you ba basically what I do is I have different people come over at different times, whether it's business people, whether it's family, whether it's friends. Uh, like on Sunday, we have anywhere from 7 to 14 people come for breakfast. Everybody brings a little something, some bring eggs, some bring sausage, some bring... We make pancakes, we make French toast. And then you go to the 99 cent store, you get a loaf of bread, it's that big for 99 cents. It goes a long way, okay? Most of the things that I get that are on sale there are good. They're, they're, they're fresh and everybody enjoys them. So I have French toast, I have pancakes, I have bacon, I have ham, I have uh, lox, I have bagels, I have cream cheese. Everybody partakes, everybody cleans up. And you know what? It's nice to be around people. Better than being by yourself. Yeah, but on, on your location, maybe the director can push, push the uh, show the uh, the view actually, and you can see the whole Las Vegas in your kitchen. Yeah, maybe, maybe later on it, it's better to come at night because when I bought this house three years ago, I walked in in March about six o'clock. I walked into the foyer area, and as I walked into the foyer area, all I could tell you is that I saw the whole strip lit up at night mm -hmm. with an unobstructed view. And on top of that, it was a full moon. It was wow. absolutely incredible. I said, I want the house. Well, I told them, make me a counter offer. I never made an offer. Wow. I made the counter offer. They took $14,000 off the price. I said, I'll take it. Wow. That's easy, right? Yeah. Wow. I'm, a nego I'm a natural negotiator. Oh, by the way, yes. next door neighbor is for sale. Yeah, that's the are third you, time. Are you planning to buy that? No, I, I, I guess they just don't like me. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Why is that? No, I'm only What's not to like about you? No. You seems like a very kind... Yeah, man. I'm doing... No, I'm only, I'm only kidding. But you know what? People buy things, they sell things. Uh, it's about the, Since I've lived here, it's the second or third time that they put the house up for sale. Mm -hmm. uh, they do a little something. And if they can make a few bucks, hey, more power to them. This house, basically, I bought for $685,000, is now just reappraised $1.2 million. Wow. You yeah. guys are not far from each other and uh, she lives that way, right? So it's I mean the other side of the mountain. Yeah, the other side Sunrise of the mountain. Sunrise Mountain. Oh that, no, that's a, that's a dip. how do you how do you get from one location to, to here? I drove. No, no, how long did it take you to get here? It took me at least thirty, four minutes. Yeah, they're on the other side. No. From us, you're right. It's only two fifteen and we're here. Yeah, no, it didn't take so me. it takes what? 20 minutes? No, not, not bad. See, from your house, I take I, what I do is I take the 215. I go up Trop. Uh -huh. That's the way I go. I go up Trop. I go down to the highway to the 215, jump on the, on the highway, and I go out and get off of the Ann Road. Yeah, very, that's very what simple. we did also today. We went to Ann uh, West and then to yeah, I took 95, and I get up to Ann. What exit did you start at? I came from the east. No, but what exit did you start at? 95 and, and Anne Road. Uh, 95 and Anne Road is only a couple of minutes from here. Oh, no. Where did you start from? The east. east. Anne, Anne Road, if you go down Anne Road, straight down Anne Road, that's the 95. Mm -hmm. So when you got on whatever mountain you were talking about, how, how did you get to Anne Road? Um, what exit did you take, says, from 95? No, it's Ann Road in 95, but yeah, you got on what highway? Did, you must have gotten on a highway. On the 95 street. North. From, um, my, um, I came from the east, which is Charleston. 
I'm the Charleston. On the Charleston exit. So you came down Charleston to get to 95. Yes. Okay, now I understand. And then I said to him, I'm all. Oh, that's, that's my street dog. Well, sis, talk about your uh, salad master that you can cook in uh, five course in one hour. In less than an hour. General. Less than an hour, General. What's that? Five course meal in less than an hour with the hour cookware. You guys That's talk about good. it? Well, it just depends on what you're making. We're going to be doing fried chicken with no oil. We can do lasagna, lasagna noodles. Or Filipino dish. Well, oh, I think I think you'll have to come over to my house with your cookware one day. Yes, cook I'll me, do. Cook me oh meal. yes, I will do that. I'll do everything. No, I'm not serious. Serious. Cell phone. Open it. I'm gonna take a picture. Serious. I will. I'll bring a. Uh, I'll bring a. Bring me up. When do you want? Oh, when, whenever. Uh, listen. You always here. I, I I eat very very well. Okay. And then I'll bake you a cake on top of the stove. No, that'll be nice. I, I just made corned beef last night. I actually got it at uh, Restaurant Depot. I got a 12-pound corned beef, sliced it into four pieces. Or it's a 14-pound corned beef, sliced it into four pieces, three and a half pounds a piece. Well, if you go out to the store, okay, and you go to a normal deli where you're going to get a corned beef sandwich, it's anywhere between $10 and $15. Here, I cut it in, it's $40. For 14 pounds, three and a half pounds a quarter, that could amount to ten dollars a piece. I had four sandwiches, like That's this. Four people. Four sandwiches, okay, ten dollars plus the bread. Not a bad deal. Yes, that's a good deal. Well, you know what? The next the show, let's do it on hers. Uh, she will sponsor it, so we can invite your people. Maybe we can invite the mayor. You like? You know, show them families, you know, that have children, and you can show them how inexpensive when you go shopping and cook a healthy food. Well, you see, salad master. I can do that. I have no problem. Like I mean, I she has this. Uh, uh, how do you call this? The fat that you just plug it in, and it takes oh. a few minutes. You can cook something that's the fryer. The electric skillet. Skillet. Yeah. With no oil. No, oh, that sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. And you can go barbecue if, inside. I, I, what I'd like to do, I'll tell you what we might do. Let's mm -hmm. make an Italian meal. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. So we'll make eggplant parmesan. Mm -hmm. we'll, make, yes. we'll make chicken cutlet parmesan. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, we'll have meatballs, sauce. I made sauce for the first time, okay, about three months ago. And all I can tell you is I had a big pot. And if you can take a look at the pot over there, so mm -hmm. got that pot. And I had the sauce and it was cooking. And I went over to, to the sauce probably 15, 20 times, just to taste it, to make sure that it was just taste right. If that sauce was alcohol, you would have found me stretched out on the floor. Wow. That's how many times I went over and tasted it. That's how good it was. But all I can tell you, you know what, where, where the benefit is? When you feed 14 people, and there's not a morsel left. Oh, that sounds good, that looks good. That's when you know. Yeah, it's good. You did good. You, you made a promise in life, remember that, uh, on her uh, salad master, you're the one who's going to be cooking my daughter's birthday on March 20th. March 20th, no problem. So she's going to be using the salad master, so because we have a But the only thing is you got to tell me how many people, so this way we know. Maybe 15. 15 or 50? 50. Five, five of them. Five of them. Oh, as long as you supply them. Plus adults, there's a lot of single women that I'm going to invite. Um, We'll worry about the single woman. Let's worry about the cooking first. Yes. Uh, let me go back to stirring. <laughs> yes. Let's go back and cook our noodles. Oh, so there you go. So do you, do you have to saute the onion? This is the onions. Yeah, you have to make it. Next is the cabbage. The cabbage. Oh. Do you need the cabbage now? But you see, like I say, I, I buy stuff that doesn't stick. Okay, it's easy to clean. Ours is easy to clean. Well, that's very important. It saves a lot of time. Yes, you can even like with our electric skillet because it's uh, has the foam in there. You can even put it in there. No, that's fine. I have no problem. Yeah, I have no problem. Listen, I like to cook. I cook a lot of different things. Uh, are the other guys still here, or they left? I, I um, she's left. coming back, the doctor, and I believe I saw is outside. So okay, not a problem. I was gonna. I, uh, would you guys like to taste some of the the, the uh, 
the um, it's fine. I'm trying to think myself. Uh, the uh, sausage and peppers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sausage. Yummy. Well, since so what are you thinking of cooking uh, my daughter's birthday here in Anna? Because well, she'll be really bad. Well, we, we, we can make a tie. It's it's tough, but he's the one who's yeah. going to be cooking. Well, because right. we have kids. We have kids and barbecue. Right? Right. 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 That is, that is a beautiful right. view there. I think we just filmed behind that. Because you need. Well, Miss Salad, salad, uh, salad Master, come over here. <laughs> Let her, let her speak. Okay. I can tell this is a general cook. <laughs> Take a minute or two. Well, thank you for being patient, everybody. It just takes some time. You know, this is all live, and we just can't go around uh, making it in advance because if I make it in advance, that uh, you don't get the the actual flavor uh, or the taste. Just another couple of minutes. Well, tell some story about your life, General. Yeah, I, I think I like I like you to have you're good when making some jokes, General. Well, I come from Brooklyn, New York, and uh, I lived there for 50 years, and I decided to come out to Las Vegas. When I came out to Las Vegas, I fell in love with the weather and the taxes. You know, everything in New York got so expensive, it's just crazy now. The reality is, is I sold my house back in 1994 uh, for $1 million. Okay, the house today is for sale for $3.5 million. So everything is very, very expensive. If I never go back to New York, to be honest with you, I'm happy. I have everything out here. I have the restaurants that I want to go to. I have the uh, theater that I want to go to. I have the shows. Everything that's necessary is here. The taxes are great, okay, and the weather is spectacular. The winter, I don't have to sh shovel snow, but just one, one uh, <clears throat> story with snow. <clears throat> I basically came home one day. I got up, actually, I, came, I got up in the morning one day, and there was six inches of snow covering my whole backyard last year. I couldn't believe it. It's the first time that I've ever seen snow like that since New York, okay? Six inches of snow. Got into the car, went to work. Came back from work, six inches of snow were gone. That was unbelievable. Six inches of snow to disappear like that was just crazy. But it's a once in a lifetime thing. I don't think we'll ever see six inches of snow again, but anything is possible. Uh, I go to the shows, I go to the restaurants. I have several different restaurants that I go to. I have a Thai restaurant, a Chinese restaurant, a steak restaurant, um, a, a New York style deli, and an Italian restaurant. All of them, which I recommend to many people over periods of time, when they come down to our facility. We have tours that we do from Tank. You have basically a one hour tour of everything and anything. It gives you the history of the show, it tells you how we got started, etc., etc. And I can't wait. Oh, maybe this is somebody calling in to find out what's going on. Hold on one moment. Hello. Okay. Um, Bear with me for a minute, I can give you the telephone. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm actually filming something right now at a cooking show. I'm a cook as well. So i tell you what, give, give me about, about 45 minutes to an hour and call me back. I have the information for you. Okay? Okay, I look forward to hearing from you. Just one of my fans. Well, continue to your okay. story. I took up your stuff. All right, we're getting it done. Let us 
And it looks like a lot of cabbage. But a lot every, of cabbage. Every, everything is made from water. And everything yeah. is water weight. And everything gets melted down. And you'll see it happening very, very quickly before your eyes. So how do you call this? Uh, What's that? How do you call this food that you just this, this, is, this is what's called noodles and cabbage. It's a Hungarian dish. Uh -huh. Okay, very, very. I, I make it without salt. Okay, but when you add a little bit of salt, it tastes good. Oh, it just gives you a flavor that you can't imagine. I can't wait for you to taste this. Hungarian food. Yeah, I can make that. We're getting there slowly but surely. <laughs> Tell me more about the tank coming soon. I'm so excited. I mean, a lot of people are asking what happened to the tank. Well, what happened is for some unknown reason, uh, not I, I can't tell you why because it's confidential information. Of course, they decided of for whatever reason to take it off the air. Uh, but yet there was such a clamor, okay, for it to come back. I guess they realized that it was a money maker because they keep showing the reruns that they want to have new episodes, and we're in the process of negotiating with them right now. Do you do you create the tank with the shark? Because it's like tank with the shark. No, well, that's Shark Tank. That's another that's another company altogether. <laughs> but no, it happens to be if you take a look at it carefully, it's uh -huh. ATM. Acrylic tank manufacturing. Acrylic tank. And you see, it's ATM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's what yeah, makes. Acrylic. That's what that. No, but that's what makes the shark up. You see, here's the shark. A T M. Oh, okay. you're right. You're right. right? Yeah, that's what, that's, what, that's basically where it comes from. Cute. So you know, like I said, uh, we we speak with the clients. Many mm -hmm. times, the client knows knows what they want, uh -huh. and we try to be innovative, and we give them <coughs> choices of different things. But we're very professional. We do things per correctly, and there is a methodology of doing everything. You know, everything is a matter of inches and weight. Okay, the thickness of the material is based upon how many gallons go into the tank. I like the one we delivered to Chef O'Neill. Yeah, those are cute. Yeah, no, we've done them all over. I mean, we've done for Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah. Uh, Tracy Morgan. He had three tanks. Okay, Betty White. Um, I can't imagine how many we've done. How, how much uh, cost on different sizes? They range. They range anywhere from about $2,500 and up. Oh, that's not bad. No, no but again, deal. it depends on what you want. You know, wow. how big you want. You know, how, what the thickness is. Everything is a matter of dollars and cents. They can, you can have one in the middle over there going on the air. Yeah. No, anything, listen, uh, for, uh, for, money, for money, anything is possible. Yes. yes. Why yeah. not? They they can film the you know on the um, on the show. Saddle monster on the show. Yeah, I do. Nice. I do. I do. As you can see, I have a lot of cookware. I have a lot of uh, serving pieces uh, because I like people to feel comfortable. And to be honest with you, I enjoy it. I buy it on my own. I see a sale, I'll go out and I'll buy. It. But the beauty about this is I want you to be a little bit educated with the salad monster because you like to be healthy yeah. and wealthy and live yeah. longer. Uh, what I see on the salad master is either you pack it because we learn when after we cook we go like this, so it chip. But on this one, it's not. It's because this one they use is a stainless steel. Yeah, stainless steel. Not even that. If you got if you broke your arm, this is the one that they use. You know that. Okay. No, this is a this is a nice piece. It's very affordable. It's lightweight. And it's stainless. It cleans very, very easily. You just have to rinse it out as opposed to scrubbing it. And the beauty about it too, uh, you can cook uh, silicone, the, the soap base, you know, beef, so mm -hmm. chicken, whatever. You don't need to put water. No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Well, like I said, I, I'm going to do it next week at her facility, and hopefully we'll make a whole Italian meal with sauce. And I invite a lot of people to come. Please, yeah. Guys, it's I can't wait. This is uh, Hungarian food that we're yeah, about to taste. It's so no, good. I'm, actually, I'm getting I'm hungry. They smell alone, so it smells good. Uh, at my house. And uh, they, came, they came in and uh, they set up. And I'm, I'm making your noodles and cabbage, showing people that I have uh, ingredients and things. Oh, the general slide right now? 
that's uh, a bit about very, it. Very, very inexpensive. <laughs> it's on the any, phone. Any, any news, anything going on? And yeah, he can't say anything else because he is live right now. So, <laughs> well, all I can say for the general's cooking, I'm getting hungry. I can smell. It tastes good. Uh, smell I, I, could, I could try. I could try to deposit it. Yeah. I could try. Where is my son, Master? Yeah, no, no, I, I understand. I, I, like I said, I could try to deposit it into, into my account and see what happens. But, you know, I would suggest give me a call in about an hour when I'm, I'm finished filming and then we can discuss it more, okay? No, I, no, no, don't, I, I would wait. All right? Okay, you got it. Bye. See how busy the general is, and he still had time to show you how to cook healthy food and get and get uh, wealthy, healthy and wealthy, and what else? Well, that's good enough. And, <laughs> and and just enjoy what you're eating. I mean, these are these are things that people have never made before. I mean, I never had noodles or cabbage until I met, met my wife. So there's a lot of ingredients and a lot of cookbooks. I mean, if I show you up there, I probably have 30 cookbooks. Wow. Yeah, just just to show you. From all over the world. Uh -huh. Okay? And I improvise. Wow. Everything, everything. But you have right. your own uh, menu, right? You have your own. Well, I, I improvise, and what I do is I add and subtract certain things from other uh -huh. things, and it just comes back. I just want to make sure. Really. And the one you're cooking now is your own. Uh, Recipe. No, 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 no. This is this is noodles and cabbage. This was my wife's, my wife's mother, grandmother recipe. And by the way, uh, the general will be putting his ingredients so easy and simple, and it save you money. And if you have a big family, uh, the general can teach you to budget. Just for twenty-five or ten dollars, and you can feed what ten, ten no, people. No, it, dep it, dep it depends. I mean, this particular um, dish costs four and a half dollars. If you have, if you want to make it as a main dish, it's a little fattening. You don't want chubby kids running around. But if you want to use it, four and a half dollars will feed probably six people a main dish. Wow. Now, there Italian people have pasta as a main dish, maybe some yeah. meatballs. If they want to add something to that, you can add a piece of chicken, a piece of steak, etc., etc. Generally, we use, and we have steak with this, with this and salad. And the salad, if you make it with, the, with, this, with this miraculous machine, okay, you'll find that it will go a long, long way. Five dollars will probably make enough salad to feed 10 or 12 people. Five dollars. You go into the restaurant, it costs seven, eight dollars for one salad. But they have to make their money somewhere. You know, they have overhead, etc., etc. You mean the sausage, General? Is this your own recipe? Uh, I'll check it out. Yeah. yeah. Let me. Very, very simple. This is the first time actually that I made it. Uh -huh. Okay. I'll do it a little bit first. Okay. Where, where, where did she go? Oh, sorry. The general made this. This is a sausage and onion and bell pepper. And I know the general likes salt. <laughs> How about the cameraman? Mm. This is good. That's better than good. Mm -hmm. Delicious, guys. So, five dollars, how much? Twelve bucks. Two packages of sausages, is dollar ninety nine a piece. That's four dollars. Peppers were a buck and a half. Five and a half dollars. Onions about a dollar. About a dollar. 
six and a half dollars and a little bit of oil. That was it. Absolutely delicious. Oh. And that'll feed that will feed probably eight people. That's less than a dollar a person. Wow. So you guys that's only what fifteen dollars? And it will feed eight people. I don't know whether you can see this or not, but you'll see originally the cabbage was up to the top. Now you can see as we're doing this, cabbage is melting, browning, frying. That looks delicious. That's a lot. You're right. You can feed about 20 or 15 people. I'm telling you, don't forget, we didn't have the noodles yet. Wow. That's how we call to go box. <laughs> <laughs> mm. What I try good. to do is I try to clean up the extra things that I've used. Mm. Like, so when I'm going to put the noodles in, the strain the noodles. You want to try some? Hmm. He's a vegetarian. He's very picky, like my daughter. That's all right. That means there's more for us. That's for you. I eat too. You eat too. Uh oh, we're live TV now. Not wrong, Doc. Enjoy. Can I show my vegetable? <laughs> Uh-oh, another shot. So good. <laughs> uh. Guys, it's so good. Hmm? <laughs> We're gonna show a little bit commercial that's uh, sponsored by Mbida. So March 4, join us. It's gonna be at 5115 West Spring Mountain Road. I'm taking advantage of the show of the general because what are you drinking, general? Diet, diet. diet Pepsi. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's what I like. That's very good. I'm gonna save this later on and let the general continue talking about saving money yeah. and saving food in the food. Hey, you want well, some I'll more? save it. What do you say? You want some more later? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, no problem, save it. We're getting there. Maybe another 20 minutes. I'm gonna dig in this refrigerator. See this refrigerator? It's big. I'll see what I can get from there. Hmm. I'm gonna steal. Okay. I drink Pepsi. No, I drink the soda. Just for this. Just this one. You missed out on the noodles. General, what else can you tell about the next recipe you're going to make? Well, this next time we're going to do Italian, as a matter of fact, just one minute. We're going to do Italian next time. We're going to have chicken color parmesan. We're going to have uh, so eggplant parmesan. Oh, I want to do that. Meatballs, meatballs, sauce, uh, salad, which we'll make in your salad maker. Okay. And everything will be made with your appliances. I have no problem in doing that. And uh, if it's as easy or better than these, we get oh, rid of yes. we we'll get rid of everything. Yes. And the next time we cook here, everything, we'll be, everything will be your appliance. Okay. Now, is this cooked already, General? No, no, we're working on it. Here's what about the noodles? Yeah. The noodles got time. Is this for me? That's for you. Be okay. careful it's hot. Oh that's nice. Did you make this sausage too? Yes. No, I didn't make the sauce, I bought the sauce. I'm not, that, I'm not that good. 
It's good. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. And once it's done, you'll see how good it really is. I can't wait to eat it. How good is that? Good. Can you just put onions, bell pepper? Onion, bell pepper, and sausage. A little, bit, right. a little bit of oil. That's okay. it. I tell you, that would probably feed about 12 people. Mm. Okay? Maybe $12, a dollar a person. Now we just have to wait for the ingredients and everything to cook down. Once it's cooked down, we'll serve everything. We'll sit down. We'll have some salad. We don't have to boil the noodles yet. But patience is a virtue, and you just have to take time. Took time. Hmm? Took time. Funny jokes. Funny jokes. Huh? Funny jokes. Funny moments. In my jokes, General, we have a lot of jokes. No, we have, we have a lot of jokes. You know. We have nothing but jokes. Huh? Jokes. You know jokes, right? No, once, once in a while. Jokes is a Filipino comedian. Oh, is that right? Yeah, he become popular. He's here in Vegas. He's mother in Filipino. Well, maybe next time I'll be prepared. Now mm -hmm. I was just prepared to basically do the cooking, serve, everything, prepare everything, and give everybody a wonderful lunch. Hmm? Right done. Well, right now, we're going to take a break. So, uh, the general, for five minutes, signing off. Huh? It's a bit